I'm going to be opening up this guaranteed Galaxy Opal pack. That's right. It's a 97 plus, which means it guarantees us one of these 79 Galaxy Opal hidden gems players. And some of these players include Galaxy Opal LeBron, this Kevin Durant, and also this Giannis Antetokounmpo. So this pack right here could change absolutely everything, especially when you look at my team. We need to make some changes. To be fair, my team is pretty nice, but like I'm still rocking with Pink Diamond Pascal Siakam and then Diamond Sydney Wicks as my power forwards. So I can't lie, I'm kind of nervous. Now you may be wondering, how do we get this pack? Well, you can see here, if you lock in every single one of the main promo players from the Lightning Strike set, that's where you can get this 97 plus hidden gems pack. And I ended up picking up this Galaxy Opal Jason Tatum for only 910,000 MT, which was an absolute steal because yeah, he usually sells for about 1.1 million. So then I was really happy with that. And then I was thinking all I need to do is buy all of these other pink diamonds right here. And then we can lock it in to get the 97 plus. And if we come over to my auctions and come over to active bids, you can see we bought every single one of these players and getting Dirk for only 280K is a huge win. Then Jason Terry for 108K is crazy. I've seen Magic sell for over 300. So 240 was money for him. And finally, this Jerry Stackhouse usually sells for about 200K. We got him for 172. So that means when we add all of these players up, it cost us 800K to pick up every single one of these pink diamonds right here. And then obviously nine, 900k for this Galaxy Opal Jason Tatum. So that means, yes, this pack is going to have costed us 1.7 million MT. Now that is a lot, but in good news, we get to keep this Jason Tatum. So that's why now I'm going to come over to my auction outcomes. We're going to redeem all of these players right here, all of these pink diamonds. We're going to get a bit of MT back, which is actually going to be quite nice. It's going to sit, make us sit on about 600,000 which I'm pretty happy with given that, yes, we're locking in this as well for the 97 plus hidden gems. I can't believe we're doing this once again because now it's time to actually lock in all five of these players right here and lock it in for the 97 plus hidden gems pack. I think it's time that we do it. I'm so nervous. Let's hope that this is worth it. Let's lock it in and now it's time to lock it. We can't take this back. We have now got the pack. As you guys know, this could change everything and I am so excited. The reason I'm so excited though is because if we go through these Galaxy Opals that are available, there are some insane same cars that we could add to the team if we get super lucky, such as this Giannis that I spoke of before. Even like this Penny Hardaway would be insane. I would be so happy to get LaMarcus Aldridge. Same as this Anthony Davis. Even like Andre Kirilenko and this Sean Marion would be crazy. But most importantly, I want to see players like this LeBron James and this Kevin Durant. But there is one issue. If we go through all of these cars, there are some awful Galaxy Opals that we do not want to see that won't even make it to the team at all. Like yes, this Allen Iverson. What, this Tony Parker, and even like this Bob Cousy. We do not want to see cards like that. So this is such a big risk, and I can't believe we actually have this pack that we are going to open up. Also kind of crazy when you think about it. I was the first person in the world to open up one of these packs in the past, because yes, I just have to flex it again. We finished number one in the world in the first week of King of the Court, which gave us one of those packs. And out of that, we ended up pulling this Manu Ginobili, and this card is all right. You can see I played 220 games with him. So we've definitely played a lot, but I'm hoping this pack can be even better. So be sure to smash that like button as your guys' likes always gives me luck and I'm gonna need it for this pack right here. Anyway, it's time. I'm nervous. We're obviously gonna see the Galaxy Opal animation, which is gonna be beautiful once again to see. So three, two, one, bam. Just like that, we get our Galaxy Opal. And as I said, I just need this to be a good one. Please be a good player. Please be one that makes it to my starting lineup. And then I'm happy. That's all I'm asking for. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time. We're gonna need a base drop because this is absolutely massive, but three, two, one, bam. Let's flip it. Let's see what Galaxy Opal we're getting for spending 1.7 million MT. The animation is beautiful. Western Conference, 89.3. That's not bad. That's not bad. It shouldn't be a point guard. It shouldn't be... Small forward. Is this George Gervin? I'm pretty sure it's George Gervin. I am happy with that. This is actually a W of a card and he is definitely usable. I will absolutely take that from this pack. And I also know Ty Debo got him in his last King of the Court win. And I know this card is a beast. So there we go. I am happy with my Galaxy Opal. Let's go. Let's go. I was so nervous. But that's a W. Now, what do I do with the team? I think we actually have to move Manu to the bench, which is crazy. Then we have to take out Clay and we have to replace him with George Gervin. The Iceman, welcome to 
to the team. Because yeah, he's six foot seven, 99 offense, 97 on defense. And then what? He's got some great stats, like 99 driving layup. That's going to be so nice. 89 three ball, also a 90 driving dunk, 90 ball handle. Yo, these stats look so good. 93 speed, 92 speed with ball. I am loving this. How many Hall of Fame badges? 10 Hall of Fame badges. Post Riser, Dead Eye, Challenger. Yeah, there's some good Hall of Fame badges as well. Does he have like gold, limitless or something like that? He doesn't. So we're going to have to add a few badges to him, but that's absolutely fine. But he's actually a perfect fit to my team. Crazy how both my hidden gems opals were both Spurs players, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not complaining with that. So now he doesn't have any hotspots from free, but what's his, oh, his release isn't amazing. It isn't a, it's actually not bad though. It's not bad at all. It's not like the quickest release I've seen, but for my shooting guard, I think this is actually a money release for me because it seems super easy. You can easily tell when you need to actually do that release because he kind of flicks it up at the perfect time and in good news he's going to be such an athletic freak driving as well well for a shooting guard i love them to be able to actually dribble the ball and things like that so this is a perfect card for us to be able to use in our team and i'm not gonna lie i didn't think it was going to be a w for us to be able to get this card out of this pack i didn't think we were going to get a card like this but I think I gotta say, I'm a happy man, especially after checking out his release. I think now we definitely just have to add some badges to this card. So we definitely give him gold limitless. Can guarantee you that one. Also give him mini marksman. We'll only go up to silver for now. Gotta give him pick dodger for sure. If he's a shooting guard, we can add three more badges. He might need rebound chaser or rise up. Maybe immovable forcer. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go immovable forcer. Let's do that one, enforcer I mean. I think he needs dimer as well. Let's do dimer on just gold. The thing is I really like brick wall on my guards. So do we do brick wall or rise up. I think I'm going to do gold brick wall. Let's do that. And those are all the badges we're going to add. Now this card looks a lot better with 22 gold badges and 10 hall of fames. Now we just need to add a takeover to it. I kind of want to go this ankle taker one. It enhances the ability to drive by defenders, making it easier to get to the rim. Those are some good stats to add to him. So let's create this shoe. Thank you very much. And now let's apply it to the Iceman. Also, be sure to let me know what you guys think. Do you think this pool was a W, L or N? I actually am leaning towards it being a W. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. So just like that, this is now our team. I think I'm also going to take out Sydney Wicks. I'm going to put in Dirk. And now the squad just looks beautiful. So George Gervin, it's your time to shine. And it's time to see how he goes in a showdown match. So you know what, the Iceman? Let's get to it. And my opponent has a very good team. As he's actually got that Paul George. So it's going to be the Georges going against each other. Just uh, reverse the names because obviously Paul George and George Gervin. But it's fine because we've got George Gervin this time. Driving inside versus that man right there. Um, maybe it's not going to work as well as we thought it was. Maybe I have to shoot that shot. What am I doing in this game right now? I feel like I'm feeding George Gervin just a little bit too much. But George Gervin, get us that assist too. Pass. Gal. I it's fine. It's fine. You know why it's fine? Because George Gervin this time is going to draw the foul. The only thing is I definitely don't shoot a lot with my with my shooting guards. I shoot a lot more with like my centers and also my point guards. So that's what we're going to show right here. Because we've got Shea Gildas Alexander kicking it back out to Wemby. Wemby for the three. That's green. But at least on defense, we'll be able to see what he can do right here against Paul George. That's actually a pretty good shot. I didn't expect him to get around like that. But we pull down the rebound with our Jason Tatum. Back down to our boy George Gervin this time. I have to shoot shots like that. He has gold limitless. We should be pretty good as he gets blocked right there. I can't be taking shots like that in this situation. So Jason Tatum, perfect defense. How is that a foul? Don't ask me why, but I'm actually kind of struggling in this game, especially struggling to just score. And we're just getting turnovers. I got to stop just forcing it through George Gervin's hands every single time because that's what we're doing. And that's what's forcing us to almost be losing in this game. Let's give it to Jason Tatum this time. Tatum, you're a new player as well. So let's hold square and go to the line. I just got to lock in and play my normal game. We're not doing that right now. We make the first. Unfortunately, we ended up going two of two. So George Gervin this time, that's good defense. That was great defense, actually. Let's get across here. Yep, Paul George, you got nothing. I actually ended up selling Paul George to be able to get this Jason Tatum. And I'm happy I did. I'm happy I did because it gave us the that's a good pass. That's a great pass out, but he misses the shot. That's the one thing I'm happy about leaving Ronnie open is he does miss a lot of those shots like that. George Gervin this time. Let's flush that down. Come on, George. I want to see what you can do here. I want to see what you can do. Back out to Tatum. Tatum for the three. Oh, I can't be missing that. I really can't be missing that. I don't know why I missed that shot with Jason Tatum of all players at Galaxy Opal. You're telling me we're missing that with him? It's fine because George Gervin will score anyway. There we go. We play good defense straight after. So I'm looking at George this time. George, I see it's Wemby though. It's Wemby time. No, it's not. It's kick back out time and it's time to call a screen for George Gervin once again. George, you've got a great driving lay and a great driving dunk. Maybe I'd be better with him at small forward actually. I'm not too sure, but he is actually super quick off the dribble and... Oh, they're just the type of ones I need him to be able to finish. But if I kick it back out to him here, 
he was wide open, but then it didn't let me pass. And now we need to stop Paul George on a fast break, which is easier said than done. Fortunately, we end up getting the steal. Let's kick it to this card back out to George. George, it's only a two, but let's green it anyway. The one thing I will say is I do think this card is a lot better than Manu Ginobili, who I originally had as my shooting guard. So at least that's a positive. And at least we've got Tatum as well. So we've really got the two really good Galaxy Opals on our team, including a midi there from George. Now, I will tell you the one thing that's kind of annoying me about this card is what we could see on that last possession is he doesn't run to the corner. He runs up for a three for the mid range. I mean, every single time, at least we get a three ball this time and we green it too. I kind of just want to keep on kicking it to him because he's definitely a good card. I want to try and get a takeover to see if this driving takeover works well for us because it certainly should with the stats that he has. We're going to, what an end one that one is. How did he finish that? All right, well now let's check out his free throw. Yeah, that's money. We'll hit that. There we go. That's a steal. Okay, George Gervin, do I pull the three? Do I pull the three? in transition. George, Gervin, let's go. I tell you what, that's a shot. I'd certainly, own. whoa, look at that push dribble. That was quick. And now, yeah, that's tough. He was so close to getting takeover too. And then that's the shot I ended up taking to try and get it for him. But his push dribble is nice and it is super quick, which is what it should be. Cause that's sort of what the Iceman was known for is how quick his dribble, how quick he was and how good of a driver he was too. Even though obviously I was never able to watch him cause I am way too young. But let's keep the hand up here with Pascal Siakam and continue. What was perfect defense? I don't know about you, but I just want to keep on scoring with this card. Like literally that's just my goal right now. So back out to Pascal. Let's see if we can get an assist with him. Why not? A day to try and score on me. Yeah, you ain't hitting that shot. You ain't hitting that. We should be out here with him too. It wasn't the greatest of passes, but Wemby, you're running the lane. Wemby is not finishing it though, but back out to our boy. And you know what time it is. It's time for a Jason Tatum screen. The two lightning strike players that were able to get us this pack. Now back out to Pascal. Surely, surely we can score here. Let's go up and we do just that. And just like that, we've got a takeover. We weren't even really able to test out the takeover because we've only got 1.9 seconds left on the clock. So maybe George Gervin can get something to go for us. I don't think that'll be the shot. It's not, but we're up by what? Eight points. I'd say it was a pretty good half. Now I've brought my bench on and I've actually never used this Dirk before. And that is not a good sign straight away, given he just blew by me like crazy. But I guess he's a good offensive player. And that's really what we're looking for out of Dirk. We're not expecting much from his defense. We are expecting a lot from our man, George Gervin though. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to show up uh, there for us. And now we need to get to the corner here. That is great defense by Ja Moran, but he's still gonna get that three that I thought he was gonna take. We need to get across to this. This is actually great recovery defense though. Dirk, I'm not confident on your defense on Paul George. It actually ended up being pretty good. Yet yeah, he hit the three. Need good defense here from you, George. Need good defense, need good defense. And that's what he does. Okay, Dirk, I don't know how much I'm loving you on the defensive end, but if you can play good offense, I guess that's all we need. And let's stay in front of this Brent Barry this time. You cannot tell me that's not perfect defense. We pull down the rebound too. Now we go into the line with George Gervin. Let's get point number 20 with him. There it is. I'm actually kind of surprised how close this game is. To be fair, it's probably because I've just been forcing it through George the entire time, but it's not a bad thing. It's really not a bad thing if we're gonna hit our shots. I seriously think the Iceman might have to come off here because we are just forcing him way too much. And my opponent is so, ob it's so obvious to my opponent what I'm doing. As you can see there, I would usually just go up for the shot. Unfortunately, he read it. Come on, George, just think good. Don't, don't you dare make that pull, George. Don't you dare. Dirk pulls down his first board and it was a good one too. It's not a turnover either. It's a good inside pass for the finish. We've got 4.2 seconds left on the clock here to get a score. So I want to give it to George. I know it might be a weird play, but George, can you hit a fading shot for me? It's a tough one. It wasn't bad though. I actually don't hate that fading release and at least we're up by six points. Okay, and good news, the starters are back on the court and it's only a six point ball game. We have to make sure we win this game and that's the most important thing, which is why we're just gonna focus on that actually being the goal for this game. So George Gervin, yes, we're putting the ball in your hands, but I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that because George, you're gonna take it all the way, give it to Wemby and Wemby is gonna finish that. At least we've got Tatum defending this. That's almost a steal. I was just a little bit too late to it. But let's jump at that. That is such good defense defense and we pull down the board with Shea Gildas Alexander. Now you see who I see. It's Jason Tatum for the missed three. Very late. Are you kidding me? I need to start knocking down his release because it really all these opals, I'm struggling with them. To be fair, it is my first game with both of these cards and I haven't used Tatum for, since day one of my team. So I literally don't remember his release at all. George Gervin, at least we're meant to know yours. We're literally meant to know your release and you're telling me I do that. Are you kidding me? Just making so many mistakes towards the end of this game. Wemby, we don't miss with you though. That one is missed again. Oh my. 
Don't even ask me what's going on right now. He better not make that. Fortunately, he doesn't. But, bro, we have to lock in and actually start making some shots. Pascal Siakam to you. What about back out to George this time? I know it's weird, but it works out for the three. What do we have him here again? Brent Barry, you can't stay in front. That's a foul. I feel like we haven't scored in ages with this card, but at least the free throws are going to be good. And at least we've got 25 points with him, which I'm not mad about. Jump up with that. That's actually not bad defense. Yeah, we got across and actually cr created a bit of a shot contest, which is what we needed in that situation now pascal set a good screen for me take it on him and now hakeem that is perfect defense by hakeem absolutely perfect that's an issue in this game it was we have struggled against that hakeem elijah one but jama red I'm so bad at these releases right now. So bad. Let's make it with George Gervin though. We're only one score or one assist away from getting takeover again. So Tatum, you're the man to do it for us. There's the assist and there's the takeover. So just like that, that means we've got it. And just like that, you know what time it is. It's time for a drive and a finish. I just want to see if these drives are any better now that we've got takeover. Here's Hakeem has takeover, which probably makes it a bit harder. At least we're getting that. At least we get another steal here too. Now, George Gervin, I see you. Let's just hold square. See if it works and what a finish. We've got 2.1 seconds left on the clock. Can George go and get something to go here? A three on the buzzer. George hits it too. Okay, that's a great way to end. What a game by that man as we won by 13. In 16 minutes, he had 37 points, one rebound, six assists. He had only two turnovers. I didn't shoot the best. I definitely took some bad shots, but still shooting 50% isn't too bad. 100% from the free throw line. He had four dunks as well. I got to say, I'm actually pretty happy with that game, especially because most importantly, we got the win. And given that we've now got this team right here with, yes, our three Galaxy Opals looking beautiful, I gotta say I'm actually super happy because I think getting this George Gervin was a W, but be sure to let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is it a W, L, or N? The only reason I think it's a dub is because I also get this Jason Tatum on my team as well. Meaning, yes, the team is looking so much better and we still have 600,000 MT for the next pack drop. So yeah, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. Was it a W? Also, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and you follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.